Hey, Jason Tushman back here with Spot on Patient Acquisition, episode 32. As always, thank you so much for your time. We hope you appreciate the content. And all we ask as an exchange is that you share this content with your peers out there in the elective health marketing space. Today we're gonna to go over a very consistent debate out there in the world is, and that is how do I use cancellation fees or any type of consult fee in my scheduling process to reduce no-show and attendance rate? We believe there's two different options out there that you can utilize. The first is a cancellation fee, okay? A cancellation fee is very similar to what hotels do. You can schedule your reservation, but if you cancel, in 48 hours or less, I'm gonna charge you a cancellation fee. It could be $25, $50, whatever you, can, whatever you think's right for your practice and getting skin in the game from the consumer that they're gonna show up. Okay, so cancellation fee is synonymous with a hotel reservation fee, or a cancellation fee. A consultation fee is a little bit stronger financial incentive for a consumer, and that is, the, the consumer valuing your time and paying a fee to see you, okay? Now, what, the issue that we're here to discuss is how do I use these potential upfront fees to reduce my no-show and cancellation rate? The rules are that we wanna think about are first and foremost, what are the, what's the available time you have in your schedule? If you consistently have the ability to schedule people within 10 business days, you wanna be very careful about how you use cancellation fees or consultation fees. Most likely, if you have that availability in your schedule, assuming you've given the amount of hours that you want to consultations based on your lifestyle choices, you're gonna to wanna to start phase one with a cancellation fee, okay? So until you get to um, the point where you have to schedule people out farther than 10 business days, start with a cancellation fee, okay? That is not somebody having to pay for you, but only having to pay if they cancel. It's gonna offset some of the risk that's absolutely going to occur when you bring in taking a fee of any sort. And that is the second rule. The minute you bring in either a consult fee or a cancellation fee, you're gonna decrease your lead to schedule rate, both by phone and email, by 30% or more, I guarantee it, okay? You may not be able to measure it, but we do measure it, and I guarantee you the minute you start charging a fee, you're going to decrease lead to schedule rates by 30%. So you need to keep into account your schedule capacity and whether you're gonna use a cancellation fee or a consult fee. Now, the analysis that you need to think about is what age is my practice, what's the availability of my schedule, if I'm still at less, if I still can get people in with 10 business days but you're having cancellation rate problems, problems start with a cancellation fee first, okay, because it's a little bit less of a negative impact to the consumer experience. Then as your practice matures and you start to schedule people out beyond 10 business days because you don't have any availability, then you can move to a consult fee. And if you have a consult fee and you can maintain three to four weeks of scheduling people out with that consultation fee and maximizing your consultation hours, then you've got a mature, strong practice and you should charge a consultation fee. Hope this helps you. Look forward to seeing you next time.